All right, welcome back to the channel once again, guys. And today I'm going to show you like uh, since last few days, a lot of people are commenting like they are not getting how to save the page and how to get the data for the back end. Like they can push that data into the back end. So I have already created that video, and some people wouldn't be able to find out that. So I'm going to create another video on that. And this video I'm going to tell you how like you can save the data into the back end. So for saving data into the backend, you need to create an API that uh, like a post API with that uh, you can just update the data into your page. Okay, so let's let's uh, start the server. So this is my React code, it's running and this is my builder page, it's coming right now. So if you see, there are two buttons over here, save and preview button and you can see it's like uh, customized over here. So if I would delete this and I try to like uh, drag this tape landing page over here and let me open the console and console.log and let me clear it out and when I click on save, so you can see when I'm clicking on save, it's returning some data. So these, this data is related to HTML of the whatever the html inside the canvas and this is the css you are getting and i have written a function over here you can see save page whenever i'm clicking on that uh, like see there's a save button over here there's a preview button over here so on preview button i haven't uh, implemented that functionality into this but if you, on save button you can get the html and css from that editor canvas so by using this function editor.get.html get css so you can get this data and you can post it into your API. So normally what we can do, we can create a body tag over here, like body, sorry, body. And inside that body, what you can do, you can just type a key like uh, HTML, feature dot get HTML and comma CSS editor dot get css okay so these function you can call it will automatically get all the html and css whatever you will edit into your web page builder and it's gonna post it over here okay so that's the thing this gonna do and uh, and and after that you can just call your fetch api if you are working with redux and also you can call your actions and dispatch those actions and Normally, like people do use Redux and all the things, and I'm most probably I also use Redux, so I haven't created a video on that yet, but I will create soon. But uh, you can call that action and dispatch it from here. Like let's suppose save data. You have created a like you have created a function save data, and you want to post that. So what you need to do, you just need to pass the body into that and that's it it gonna dispatch your action and call the api and you will be able to save the data otherwise what you need to do you need to call the fetch api and inside that fetch api you need to pass the url over here i think no most of, most of the people you know about this and then you need to pass the options like inside that options you need to pass the body and uh, body headers and all the things and it's gonna be saved into the back end so that's neat that thing you need to do and backend integration it's up to you like how will you want to do in which language you want to do so it's up to you so this is the only scenario that you can do into your web page builder and i actually i have already created this uh fun i have already created a video on this functionality but i don't know how the people have been missed or missed that thing so let me show you into my youtube channel there's all, already a video has been already created so channel and if i go video all right so you can see over here save html css tutorial number five you can get this video and also you will get everything over here so same thing i'm doing into this uh, tutorial as well so if you didn't get this thing still so you can email me i'll guide you probably over there otherwise otherwise you can go with that video. okay so thank you so much thank you for watching